The DRDO is negotiating with British firm Rolls-Royce to jointly manufacture a 110 kN engine for the AMCA program, but it requires minimum order commitment for Rolls-Royce to offer joint intellectual property rights for the engine, and it has now been decided that the AMCA fighter jet will first get the jointly developed engines followed by Tejas Mark II and Ted BF program so that the engines don't turn out to be more expensive than the imported American F-414 engines that will initially power these fighter jets. The change of engines for Tejas Mark II and Ted BF program at later stages means that the production line of the new engine will remain open for longer duration, and newer derivatives will be manufactured for the next generation unmanned combat aerial vehicle and manned fighter jets. The Tejas Mark 1A will continue to be powered by the American F-404 engines, and will not get the jointly developed engine due to technical and weight issues in its integration, and due to which it will be kept out of the negotiation table. The Indian Army has issued an initial request for information for the procurement of 350 new generation lightweight tanks and the project will be executed under Make in India with requisite transfer of technology, and both the international and Indian companies have to submit their responses by 18th of June 2021. The request for information specifies that the weight of the light tank should not exceed 25 tons, and its physical dimensions should not impede its transportability. It should have thermal night fighting capabilities, and must perform anti-aircraft and ground roles and must be capable of smart munitions with tube-launched anti-tank guided missiles, anti-drone capability, active protection system, UAV jammers and artificial intelligence based technologies. It must come along with performance-based logistics and engineering support packages as well as other maintenance and training requirements. Russia has already offered its Sprit lightweight tank, Korea has offered its K-21, and as the DRDO and Larsen and Tubro light tank based on the hull of K-9 Vajra Howitzer might exceed 25 tons, Larsen and Tubro is planning to offer a light tank by integrating their FICV chassis with 105mm gun of John Cock Aerial Defense. The Indian Navy has issued a request for information to foreign vendors and authorized leasing firms for 24 naval utility helicopters for a period of at least five years, and it will include all maintenance support including performance-based logistics along with the training of air and maintenance crew. The helicopter needs to be in the weight category of 5 tons, and the twin-engine helicopters must be piloted by two pilots with wheeled landing gear and blade fall capability, and it must have a tripod for a 7.62mm gun. The Navy has sought delivery of all 24 helicopters within a period of 24 months from the date of signing the contract. The Indian Air Force chief visited the Safran Engines M88 engine manufacturing facility at Villaroche in France, and this visit comes after the recent signing of military engine collaboration between Safran and Hindustan Aeronautics to explore opportunities to assemble the M88 engine and manufacture its components in India, and it will cater to any additional batch of Rafale fighter jets ordered by Indian Air Force or any aircraft manufactured in India by Hindustan Aeronautics fitted with the M88. In case the US stops supplying the General Electric's F-404 engines for the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters due to CATSA sanctions, India will have the option to equip the M88 engines as a stopgap measure, and Hindustan Aeronautics can also offer Russian RD-33 engines that are licensed produced in India as temporary arrangement, until the 110 kN engines developed jointly with UK is available. Hindustan Aeronautics has signed a contract with Nigerian Army, for imparting basic helicopter flying training phase 1 to 6 Nigerian Army officers, which is in line with government's vision to promote defense exports. The contract was signed virtually by the Chief of Training Nigerian Army and Chief of Projects of Hindustan Aeronautics, and this contract will also boost the defense cooperation between the two countries.